Hello YouTube, I'm Bullion Mate, and this is the very first video I'm making. Um, I started collecting bullion uh, at the end of October of 2014. I uh, started with these copper pieces right here. Uh, found they were cheap. Um, the thing that got me into collecting bullion was Mike Maloney. Um, found a video of just how fake our monetary system is and what it has become and I decided I wanted something more tangible and something that's actually worth something in the future also you know investing in my retirement isn't a bad idea um, anyway let's jump right in and I'll show you what I have this is keep in mind this is all of what I've collected since the end of October of 2014 and you know it's I don't think it's a bad start right, let's jump right in so first, you got these um, one pound copper bars, they're in bags, I don't want to get fingerprints on them because they tarnish. Um, these are copper bars from Provident Metals. Uh, these are about seven bucks each, uh, it wasn't a bad deal. Um, copper's pretty cool, I just like the color, it's why well, I collect it really. I hear there's no really intrinsic value in the future, but you know, I, I, again, I don't know. Um, this is the same thing, it's from, from Provident, and this is just a two pound bar. You got three of these guys. Uh, just the same thing. I got three one pound and three two pounders. Uh, great weight. Yeah, they are very heavy. They're exactly two pounds. They're pretty nice. I like them. Moving on. Uh, I got these guys from Golden State Mint. These are uh, little. Well, let's see if it'll focus here. Um, these are little one ounce copper bars. Uh, there's five per bag. I got. Uh, 10 from Golden State Mint, and then uh, these ones, I picked these ones up from Atmex. Uh, these are pretty cool little copper bars. Uh, I got five of those guys too. Uh, and then got a bunch of uh, little ounce rounds. Uh, the majority of these came from Provident. These are, um, there's two per package of these guys. These are the little Lunar um, Year of the Horse. Uh, copper rounds. I got. Well, let's see, I ordered ten of them. So, and I got the Zombucks when those came out. I thought those were pretty cool. Can never go wrong with the uh, Zombucks. Um, and there's another one I have. It's really cool. Anyway, uh, moving on. That's that's all my copper bullion right now. I'm not gonna probably collect any more just because it's. I think I got enough, <laughs> and I really am starting to like silver as it is. You all know what these are. Uh, classic Pamp. One ounce Troy. Great bars. I love them. I'm um, going to be filling up uh, this entire Pamp box here just full of them. Uh, hopefully that will be filled within the next year. Got three Pamp bars, as you can see. Um, I got a five ounce Troy bar. This is at my local bullion shop down in Redlands. And uh, this is, um, it's a secondary market. It's from the USA office of San Francisco, 1981. Great little bar, nice and heavy, awesome, a great feel to it. I love that thing. Uh, I got three one ounce bars from Rand Refinery, and these are the Year of the Snakes. These were actually my very first silver purchase. I got three of those guys in there. Uh, they're great little bars. Um, you know, good starters, like the little serial number on the bottom. It, looks awesome it's great some great silver um let's see i got these also from my local bullion shop these golden state mint uh buff the silver buffaloes they're one ounces um the great pieces i uh, they're really beautiful i really like the the indian on them it's it's pretty cool um i got three of those guys and then this one um is an ntr and uh I only got one of those guys. That, that's I got that from my local bullion shop as well. I just figured I'd diversify. I'm going to get more of the Golden State Mint ones, though, because I really like those. Um, you all know what that is. Don't even need to explain it. 2014 American Eagle. Just for all those who are new to bullion collecting. Uh, one ounce um, Incuse Indian. Uh, one ounce bar. Uh, one ounce round, my bad. Great piece, love it. It's beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. It looks more like it's more hand poured, 
um, than the other ones. The other ones are really shiny, like they, they got a nice polished look to them. This one is, it, it's like a nice pour design. I, that's what I love about it. So I'm definitely going to be getting more of those guys. And the uh, last two of my bullion here, Pamp Gold. Got a 2.5 gram bar here, and I got a 1 gram bar. Figure it's a place to start. Gold is way more expensive, and I'd, if anything, I'd rather spend the money on the silver if I'm going to spend a lot, you know. Uh, maybe when I get a hell of a lot more money or something, then, you know, I'll invest more in the gold or something. Anyway, uh, oh yeah, and I got this little bag of gems. Um, been trying to buy loose gemstones from, you know, local jewelers and stuff, and, and these are cool. This, I got a garnet in there, and um, a couple other random gems, but these are natural gemstones. They are cut. Figure I'll try and fill up that bag by the end of like 10 years or something. Anyway, that's uh, that's my current collection. I'll keep updated. Again, this is my first video. Sorry, my camera's not having issues focusing. There we go. And uh, I'll update you guys in a month. See you later.